All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm having an issue with the MPP LV2424. It would appear on a nice, bright, sunny day where all my panels have full sun. We're not getting the full power. So let's check it out. All right, so inside the off-grid shed now, I want to show you what we're bringing in for the MPP LV2424. 307 watts, 114 volts. It is late November, about 9.45 in the morning. So the sun is appearing low in the sky as expected. But uh, full sun, I should be bringing a lot more power. All right, so here's the issue. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the solar right now. Disconnect you, hear the relay turn off. So we're turned off and our solar is zeroing out right now. All right, so let's go ahead turn it back on and then we're going to get a lot more production watch this so the relay just turned on getting more power so it's going to ramp up so it was at 300 watts before 305 307 now take a look at this All right, so 1.1 kilowatts, 1100 watts right there. All right, guys, just want to cut into this video real quickly and show you what things look like in Solar Assistant. As you can see, this is where the PV was running about 300 watts, and then I went ahead and turned on the breaker right here, and we had a good kilowatt coming in for a while. Then the clouds rolled in, and the sun sort of tapered off. But you can see down here, when we threw the breaker, we were putting just over a kilowatt into the batteries, and then the percentage of charge, the batteries were around 75% through the breaker, then they quickly went up. You can see the rise and the slope here. So it wasn't like the batteries were full and uh, the inverter was just limiting the power to 300 watts or so. Definitely, there's something going on when I turn off and turn on the breaker for the solar, I get a lot more power coming into the unit. So just curious about that. So what's going on with this LV2424? Why do I need to go ahead and reset the solar and reset the relay here? Is it a problem with the unit? Do I need a firmware update? Have you guys seen this in your setup? So if you're using a MPP, if you're using a PIP or an LV2424, let me know. It's a uh, question I have. It's been happening frequently, so I'm very curious to know what's going on. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. Take care.